everyone, and thank you for joining me. I have a little tip now. I'm not sure if it'll work for all the iPhones, but I recently bought a SIM card for an iPhone 4, and I was having problems with the APN, and I tried to do that little trick where you put in a T-Mobile SIM card, and then, um, you know, pull it back out and put your uh, straight talk back in, and it would should show you where you could put in the values for uh, data and MMS. Well, I worked for a little while, but I couldn't get my SIM card to work. So um, I decided to try to jailbreak it. Well, I had problems jailbreaking it. It wouldn't work very well. So I decided to uh, just restore the phone. And so I left the uh, Straight Talk SIM card inside the phone, and I restored the phone on uh, through iTunes. And whenever it came back up to set up the phone again, for the longest time, it wouldn't say home, straight talk, or track phone, or anything like that. It just said AT&T and 3G. So, until I was able to go all the way through all the settings and everything, apparently, if you re uh, redo your phone, and when it comes up AT&T, if you let that stay for a while, it, apparently it puts all the right settings in there. And uh, when I got finished putting the settings back on, you know, set my phone back up, the website you go to, the unlockit.co.nz, I didn't have to put that back on there. And uh, everything just started automatically working. Uh, I think it was due to that it was using off of the AT&T tower. And so it was just all the settings that you would normally use just automatically went back into it and started working. I don't know why this happened. I've not heard anybody else that's done it, but you should try it. If you can't get your settings to work right on your straight talk uh, iPhone 4, I don't know if it'll work on 4S or 5 or any of those, but you could try it. It's, it's not going to hurt it. Uh, you might want to just go back in, just restore the phone, and when it comes back up, it should you should see AT&T at the top. And when every AT&T goes away, the settings should stay. And uh, I'm hoping this will work for everyone. It was, it may be a fluke, it may be, you know, but um, if it works, then it'll save people a lot of time from having to jailbreak it. Because I didn't jailbreak the phone or anything. It just automatically started working. I uh, hope this helps out and um, leave feedback. Let me know if it works for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.